there's something really special for the listener to be able to analyze in their own way and experience emotionally as well the maybe some progression that a composer demonstrates as, as they go through a, a series of works or in the case of the Brandenburgs it's just the, the how spectacular it is to go six consecutive works that have slightly different configurations of musicians, slightly larger groups of strings, some cases single strings on a part, solo parts. And so you have these, these ubiquitous works that are just known as these six Brandenburg concertos. And yet, as a group, they're most um, interesting to me because of their, how singular each of them is on their own. And I think to hear them back to back is just such a it's such a special and unique experience. It's very, very rare that people get to hear something like this. What's great about these concertos is that for the individual soloists, they are real virtuoso pieces that as instrumentalists we we really strive for. So the trumpet player having to play this incredibly high, very um, articulate piece. And so each of the concertos has something unique like that, um, which makes it possible, I think, in order, it makes it possible to do these six together because it's not the same exact style of music from concerto to concerto. Every one is just as um, interesting as if we, almost as if we changed composers like we would normally do. Just knowing that we have to treat this music in a different way to help bring out the the weaving lines that make Bach so interesting, all of the counterpoint where lines start in one and they overlap and creating the kind of space that's necessary to allow the listener to really hear the interplay. And when you hear that in the, in the, in the context of these six individual concertos under this big umbrella, you really get to revel and celebrate the genius of Bach.